Welcome back to VA Creative and part 27 of the Ultima RS build. And on this episode, we're cracking open the carbon. Yes, and welcome back to the Dean Den, the penultimate episode of 2022. And yes, you heard that right. I'm going to be opening the first part of my carbon fiber aero package that I bought with my RS. So on this episode, we're focusing on the rear clamshell. We're preparing it for paint. We're installing those beautiful meshes and also, and also putting on that amazing diffuser. Let's get spannering. So welcome to the inside of my rear clamshell for my Ultima RS. Now, as you can probably see, there are lots of holes. There are eight main holes here on the top of the clamshell. Then we've got knacker ducts here. Then we've got two slots here and here, and that's for the rear wing. And in the back, I don't know if you can see that, probably over, yeah, you probably can. Just about over here, you can see there's two vents on the rear of the car and there's also a vent on the side of the car. Now, all of these holes, vents, even the big one at the back, all have mesh that fit inside them. And of course, Ultima provide all these grills beautifully packed. And for example, here, we have what they call, what do they call this? They call this, excuse me for checking, it's called the canopy grills. So again, it uses these hexagonal grills that you've seen before. And what they've been done is they've been actually formed into the shape of these holes. So they just fit inside like so. And we have, of course, eight of these. There's one and there's two, three, Four off camera there. Five, six, seven, eight. So there you go. So there's a fair few grills there. Now these are going to be trimmed. I'll trim them later and then they're going to be bonded in place once it's been painted with good old worth sealant. Next we have Look at these little things here. So this is rear canopy knacker duct grills. So let me unwrap these. These are formed also. And where they go is in here. I'll pop a picture in so you can see them. So there's one and then there's two. And again, those need trimming and bonding in, as I said before. Now what's next? What have we got? Roof scoop grill. Okay, now let me move the camera here and refocus it if I can. Oh, okay, let me bear with me doing this. You can't really see this, but um, here we have the hole which is at the top of the roof, and that is called obviously the roof scoop. So let me open this up. And here we go, there's another grill, and that needs forming, cutting, before I bond that into that grill space there. Now, those two grills you see there, running along horizontal, they are called, what are they called? Rear brake grills, and that's what Ultima calls them. I assume that's them. Let me unpack them. And then I assume Yes. Like that. Hmm. Okay, so they need cutting and forming as well. And then while I'm over here, here, these, they are called rear side vents. And they're profiled. They 
must go like so. God, they look good. Okay, so I'm going to leave one there. And then one over the other side here. So there you go. That is all the grills. For those of you out there saying you haven't seen enough of my creative director recently, well, here he is examining my rear clamshell. He may look a little bit nervous, and, and so am I, because I don't want to scratch this beautiful shiny gel coat. So the first job we're going to do on this rear clamshell prior to prepping it for paint is to get all the drilling out of the way. And there are two specific jobs we're going to do first. So firstly, rear number plate lights, really easy to fit. And then secondly, carbon. I'm going to fit my first piece of carbon. The rear diffuser, which sits on this surface here, there's not a lot of holes to drill, but let's get them all out of the way before we do the painting. And then at least we won't get dust over that lovely satin black surface. And on that note, I think I'm going to have to take, take you out, Rufus. Yeah, you look a bit scared there, do you? Yeah, good boy. Anyway, let's get spannering. So here we have the two holes for the two number plate lights, and Ultima provide this lovely little pack here, light parts it says. So let me just open this up. We've got the side repeaters there, LED of course, we don't need those yet. Uh, we also have rear reflectors. We need that in the UK to get through IVA requirements. Um, we also have here, ooh, two little meshes. I don't know what those are for. Anyway, I'm sure I'll work that out later. And then finally, we have the rear number plate lights. And again, LED, nice little units those. And what we're gonna do is trial fit them in here, drill the holes, and then just get them, get them just right. And I'll take them off and put them back in the bag because I don't want overspray on these. Okay, I might speed this up a little bit. See you in a minute.
What a lovely job that is to do of an evening. All you're doing is drilling four holes and fettling a couple of the larger square holes to get these perfectly parallel. And when you pop a number plate on, this is a UK legal number plate. Look at that, doesn't that look good? I'm actually not putting this plate, even though it's a good plate on the car, I'm gonna put my V8 ULM on the car. So next, we're gonna put the diffuser on. Oh, carbon fiber. Anyway, I'm gonna leave these in for now, but before I paint the actual um, clamshell, I'll remove these because obviously I don't want overspray. Okay. Right, sorry about the mess. Uh, it, 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 it's just stressing me out so much you wouldn't realize. I just like an ordered work environment. And even though this is fairly ordered, I don't like it. But once I've got everything sprayed and back on the car, I can get rid of my spray booth, but we're getting there, we're getting there. Now, big moment, carbon fiber. Yes, this is my first carbon fiber part to add to the car. Well, okay, the wing mirrors are on, but I didn't fit that. They were fit, fitted at the factory by Jeff, so well done. But this is my first, you know, yeah, let's go for the carbon. Anyway, let's unwrap. So first of all, we have some fasteners. Of course, you would expect nothing different. So what we have here is we have rib nuts and black countersunk set screws, which allow this to be bolted onto the fiberglass. Now, let's do some unwrapping. And then, it's like wrapped in velvet. <laughs> oh, look at this. Ah, oh, ah, oh, just look. Ah, oh, wow. Can you see that? <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, look at that. Let's get rid of that. Well, that could be very useful in the future. Now this sits like this. Look at that. Oh, Mrs. is home. Rufus is starting to bark. You wait, he'll go mental in a minute. But look, so this overlaps over this edge. And then this is attached to the fiberglass, and you can see what Ultima have done, have put in little, little recesses here for the bolts. Or the set screws, rather. All right, Rufus, it's only mum. Oh, isn't that beautiful? The way in which this lips up, all gloss. Anyway, I'd better say hello to the missus. Be back in a sec. Right, Rufus has gone back inside. I'll bring him out later, say hi again. So what I'm gonna do first is, sort of calm down after seeing all that carbon fiber. What I'm gonna do is mask this area here, find the exact center line, and on the splitter as well, you can see the center line, it's been marked there. Um, and then I will offer it up. This overhang is 50 mil, 
that has to be. And what I'll do is on the splitter, I'll put some masking tape to show 50 mil, so I don't have to keep measuring, I can just eye it up. And then prop the splitter on, put a couple of clamps here, get underneath and then just check how it all fits to make sure it is perfect. And then what I've got to do is drill the holes through this and then put in the riv nuts into this body, which this is really easy, it's not gonna take long. And then I believe there's a couple of riv nuts that I put in the splitter, sorry, not the splitter, the rear diffuser to actually screw up from the bottom. So there's two fasteners up from the bottom and I think, I don't know if it's four or five, no, it's, I don't know, five I think, down from the top. Anyway, let's get masking. We now have all the holes drilled down from the top. The next thing we need to do is put two riv nuts into these two fins underneath and then drill holes through this rear deck, I guess what you'd call it, so we can screw in from this side in those two locations. Now, the way I'm gonna do this, I'm thinking as out loud here, is I'm gonna take this off, then I'm gonna drill two holes where it needs to be on the inside, then I'll probably put paint on them to transfer it, put this back on, and then press down, take it off. That will show me where the holes are in the deck, drill the holes, and then I can put the riv nuts in this and also the riv nuts in this and clamp it all down. And hopefully it all lines up. Anyway, let's try. Let's start spannering. Well, actually drilling, but I like saying spannering.
So in the last episode, when I was doing this, I got quite a few comments saying, oh, I've got a real eye for detail. But the thing is, to me, doing things like this is a must. Okay, when we're going down the street at 180 miles an hour, I might not be thinking about this, but it's all about the detail. And this doesn't take long. It really doesn't. So now we've blacked out the edges of all these vents, I'll spare you me doing all the other vents. <laughs> Took me quite a while, but that's fine, I don't mind. Now, what we have here is one of these beautifully pressed hexagonal grills, and as I showed you earlier, these get bonded with Worth sealant into these holes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim around here with a pair of side cutters just to make it very neat how it sits in that hole. Um, what you need to do is make sure that none of the sealant oozes outside. So what I'll probably do, I'm thinking, 
is I'll cut, I'll trim around here, then I'll take this off, and then I'll put a bed of sealant, just a bead, around there, push this down, and then maybe do another bead of sealant over the top. Now, these are usually held in by wires, but I don't think I have to do that here, because that just sits in there beautifully. Right, let me just trim this now. So, And yes, another episode draws to a close and boy, what an episode it was. I need to go and lie down now. So I just can't wait until I get all this bodywork prepped and back on the car so I can just get order back in the Dean Den. So next episode is gonna be posted on the Friday before Christmas. I think that's the 23rd. So it's gonna be a Christmas special. And what's gonna be special about it? I don't know yet. I've got to think. Well, I've got two weeks to film it and prep it. So keep tuned. Keep those thumbs up coming. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It helps the channel. And on that note, all there is to say is enjoy your Christmas shopping. But most importantly, keep spannering. <laughs>